I'm, I'm a Pleco nerd, man. Oh, yeah, because you know how cool he is. Yeah. They're not something you see often, definitely not that no. size. Well, I've, I've never seen one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. He's got like a little bit of like a blue hue to him. A little almost. bit. Seen, buddy. Here you go. <laughs> What's going on, fish nerds? Carlos here. I just came out of Top Shelf Aquatics here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Just got done doing a store tour. I'm about to show you that. I want to say though, watch all the way to the end because I'm going to take you through the store myself. But then after I got done doing the self tour, the owner, Dave, actually took me back through again to point out some of the stuff that I may have missed and actually did some feeding to get some stuff to come out and it was awesome they've got so many cool fish this is the fish store for fish nerds this isn't a get your toes wet fish store they've got some rare plecos they've got all kinds of african cichlids they've got some rare catfish i actually bought a fish there were so many fish that i wanted to buy it's i could have gone broke but I, I used all the willpower I had and only bought one fish. I wanted to buy so many, it was ridiculous. But I will definitely be coming back here. This is an awesome fish store. I've heard all kinds of good things about it, but this is the first time I've been here and I'm very, very impressed with the store here. So if you're in the area, check them out. Let's get to the tour. So here's our view coming right into the store. Got some salt tanks here. Oh, got an eel or something back in there. Pajama cardinal. Oh, this will here? Awesome. Bunch of African cichlids here. This is take down here. Sword kind of hanging out down there. Cherry barbs and little clouds. Cichlids. I need to learn more about my cichlids. I'm not totally up on everything I need to know. Got some electric blue car in here. Rooms. Check out this guy. Chopping sickle. Quite a map, see if I can find him. Check the 
these guys out. Super red. Oh. Sorry about that, Sorry man. About that. <laughs> Didn't know the thing was that far over. Stay on your hose, eh? cichlids. <laughs> I like these Cynodonis though, man. like them. Got some rams down here. Looking guppies, an electric blue, German blue ram. There's some nice looking guppies. Some Serpe tetras. Bushy nose. So I can get around that glare. Yep. Uh oh. Corridors duplicarious. <laughs> These might have to come home. These just might. to squeeze my budget to pull it off but man I'm tempted I'm really tempted those guys are awesome check these guys out guys love this fish love 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 this fish got our rainbows no those are Congo Tetris <laughs> duh She knows. Starting to bristle up a little bit. The long pin calico. Pretty cool looking. Down here, got some more African cichlids. I'm going to be doing these store tours. I'm going to need to learn what my African cichlids are. I feel like kind of a dope not knowing what all these are. <laughs> this guy's sharp. Look at him. That's a nice looking fish. Fish. Some autos in here. Got a clown knife. Some 
cribs in here. It's a nice looking crib. There it is. Gold Nugget Pleco, guys. It's the L81 Gold Nugget Pleco. That is a nice fish. That is a really nice fish. Let's see if I can block the glare with my hand. Yeah. Check him out. Spotted tiger plecos. We got L two fifty nines, L zero zero sixes, and the L eighty one all in this tank. Check him out. Is a sharp fish. He turned around to give us a close up. Oh, there's another one of these. Oop, another one of these L81s. Man, I love this fish. Love this fish. That's awesome. I really like how they put this tank up at the top so that way you can actually get a view up underneath these slates to see the plecos. That's actually a really smart idea. We got our cardinal tetras in here. Our gold red spot severums in here. He's nice looking. I like him. Oh yeah, orange spotter deal. He's down here. I was thinking maybe he'd sold and they just hadn't wiped it off yet, but yeah, he's down in there. We got L201 Snowball Pleco. And a Mango Pleco in here. Let's see if I can find these. Oh, here we go. The Mango Pleco. Lock the glare so you see him and not my reflection. There we go. That's a little better. He's nice. Very nice. Got him in here with some more cichlids that I need to get more familiar with. Try to find that. 201, I don't know if it's still in there or not. Here we got it. Buenos Aires, Tiger Stripe, L002. Where is this at? Found him. I don't know if you're gonna get a good view of the lighting him hanging out underneath there, but that's a nice looking fish. Focus, focus. Here we go. Got anything in the pot? No. Nope. So on cherry bark. Some more Africans. A rainbow shark. Or no, I'm sorry, that is a red tailed bosha. I like 
this fish. Food, dry goods, and things here in the middle. The floor and got tanks all around the walls. So we got down here, got some neons, some smaller surfaces. Oh, I'm sorry, red phantoms. Not surfaces, but red phantoms. Oh man, they got the tiger autos. That is sweet. I can't afford to shop at this store. They've got too much stuff that I want. Way too much stuff that I want. These guys are awesome. Where'd he go? Oh, I moved up here. Check out this fish, guys. He's a lot bigger than a standard auto. I mean, that, that's my finger. Typically, you see an auto in the store, they're not that big or that cool looking. This guy's amazing. That's an excellent fish. That is so cool. Another African tank. did recognize the yellow labs. I do know what those are. Some more down here. I really need to upgrade to an actual camera. My phone's having the hardest time focusing in here. African cichlids are actually a lot more popular in my part of the world. So I feel like these guys are actually really smart to have a real good selection of them. I'm really liking this green severum though. I like him a lot. Some compressor sips, some jewel spot, red flush. Ooh, Cenodon Lucid Penis. Yeah, there they are. Gotta love the Lucid Penis. Porthole catfish, dwarf giraffe catfish, rope fish, and poly polypalma palmas. I'm gonna guess that this guy is the flagtail porthole catfish. Because he has a flagtail. I'm 
know if it's coming through on camera or not. Got a rope fish over here hanging out under the slate. the list of what all's in here. White Edge Pleco. Let's see if I can find it. There's a Pleco. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get my lighting to correct a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus back there. You can see his outline. but he's cool. I apologize that I don't know all of these fish, guys. Brashard eye, I do recognize that one. Albino Brashard eye. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Redfin Pleco. Ooh, check him out. We got Green Phantoms, Gold Stripe Royal. I want to say that's what this is, is a Gold Stripe Royal. Look at him. That is a hot fish. Check him out. I love it. Plecos, blue-eyed red fin, plecos, and green phantoms all in here. There's the green phantom back in the back, that log. familiar with this Pleco. I'm assuming that's the blue-eyed red fin. That's a cool fish. Got our goldfish. Just can't have a fish store and not have goldfish, right? Sorry about that, accidentally. Stopped recording there for a second. Some geos. These guys are cool. So we got Jaguars, Blue Haps, Red Fest A, WO Full Blue, and Johanny. Common 
the bristle nose. That's how you say it. Gold trophy ops. Lemon Rumba. Rumbama. And Pollock. Not sure if I'm pronouncing those right or not. I think these guys think I'm over here to feed them. Check this out. Oh, he's a boss. Check him. That is awesome. That is a sharp fish. Discus over here. That guy's good looking. Check him out. That's a good looking discus. Very turquoise. size clown loaches in here. These guys are good. Four or five inches long. This guy's not small either, guys. Should have a golden vampire pleco in here. He might be down there. Another big tank full of Africans here. this fish is, but I like them. I like this orange guy too. Man, I'm I'm in love with these Tiger Autos guys. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. That is an awesome, awesome fish. Check him out. So just in here we've got spotted tiger plecos. Gold Nugget L81s, Adonis Plecos, and Sud Ancestris L259s all in this tank. He was out of, down in the pot, lighting wasn't that good. Yeah, I mean, he's good looking, man. He does not mind taking pictures. I'm a Pleco nerd, man. Oh, yeah, so you know how cool he is. Yeah. They're not something you see often, definitely not that big size. No. Well, I've never seen one. So. That's a new one on me. Uh, the gold spot vampire pleco. Who's... This guy's definitely. You think that one is? Yeah. I was leaning towards that as well. Oh, don't scurry away so fast, man. I think he just ran a hit behind this orange pot here. We gotta get enough good light. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the the sign for him, but there he didn't is. find him in there. Oh man, he's hot. That is a hot fish. Oh, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to freak you out. He's got like a a little bit of like a blue hue to him. A little almost. bit. He may also be trying to like blend in with that rock, to be honest Yeah, it might be. Uh, I'm probably going to take him and plop him on the other side. I think he would appreciate the yeah. discus company a little bit better than he would the Africans over here. Yeah, he kind of looks like a like a Sultan Pleco, but yeah, honestly, I think even a little better than a Sultan. A little more golden and less gray. Yeah. Right. That's a word. 
Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that those big clown lunches don't bother him. But you can see those guys come out, actually? Yeah. There's the big boy. Look at the what, Huge. Five, six inches, some oh, of them. Oh, yeah. The one's bigger than my hand, or I'll show you them some feeding time. They're fun to watch. Biking it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, your dad came here the other day looking for you, and he's like, you see a kid on a bike? I'm like, oh yeah, we saw him. All right, discus, take it easy here. I gotta let this stuff fall. Oh, the clown lunches aren't gonna wait either, it doesn't look like. Those guys are awesome. Yeah. They're actually playing nicely. Sometimes I go up there and knock the discus out of the way. And I'm like, we need that food. Yeah. I feel like the clown loaches are starting to get more love here lately. Yeah, I think so too. Well, the problem is a lot of people buy them at like an inch to two inches and they're very yeah. susceptible to ick and other diseases at that size. Yeah. By the time they're this big, ah, they're about as hardy as it gets. Because I think a lot of people didn't used to realize they get this big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not even fully they, grown. they seem a pet smart an inch long oh, yeah. and think, oh, that's a cool looking fish. They still double the size of the biggest one. Mm hmm. Yeah, they, these guys would clear a tank of snails. If you had a snail infestation, it'd last about a day with those guys. Yeah. they tear right through it. Yeah, they're definitely getting some popularity. A lot of people don't know they also have like switchblade spikes come out from underneath their eyes if you grab them the wrong way. Oh, really? Especially that big one. I didn't one. know that. It's painful. I showed it to somebody when I was getting them out. I mean, his switchblade is probably about that big, quarter of an inch. Oh, wow. It will hurt. You kind of feel like a bee stinging you. <laughs> Uncomfortable, let's just put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we'll get to you, we'll get to you. Eesh. Getting antsy. Ready for it. Boys, not all at once. And they're not all of you like this. By color, I'm looking at you. If you're lucky, the purple goby might come out. Uh, my opinion, I don't how they've already destroyed all the food. There's more <laughs> food in there. I saw the bicolor earlier. Oh, there she is again. Oh. That's enough to get that good. Yeah, the bicolor's killer too. Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. She's been nibbling on that algae all day. Oh, there she comes. A little bit of... Get yourself in there. There you go. There you go. All those pajamas beat you to the food. That's embarrassing. <laughs> the rass over on this side. It's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what about this side? What about over here? Let's show some love. Here we go, buddy. Can you see the little engineer goby sneaking out? Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, I think there's some food coming in here. There you go, guys. Alright, as soon as he realizes there's actually food in there. There we go. Oh, you're going to have to go a little further out. There you go, buddy. There you go. boy. He is cool, man. Yeah, I know. He's got tunnels. Well, he had tunnels all over the place. I kind of destroyed them. They were clean his tank, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's got like tunnels everywhere in there. But how big does he get? Uh, like eight inches. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's certainly larger than... Is that what these guys here are under the rock? Yeah, that's these guys. Oh, okay. 
They're definitely predators, and they are not even going to wait for this to thaw, I don't think. Are they an African species? Or? They are West African, yeah. kind of riverine species. Oh, crap. Trying to get some of these guys. These striped catfish are another West African, but they're not really the smartest. Well, they're more <laughs> afraid of me, I think, so yeah. they might come out and I might step back. They're pretty cool how tight they school. Oh, they're like a, a tetra, aren't they? Yeah. They're actually a catfish. There's not very many schooling catfish. It makes it really hard to get a solid picture yeah. of. Man, he's popped that guy right in the head. There you go, boys. And then you got the super reds in there just completely ignoring all this stuff. Yeah. We'll get whatever's left over. That should be enough of them. Who else gets I got about 200 super reds at home. Oh, I love them. <laughs> Did you love them? Oh, yeah. It's cool how it's a fish that's so easy to breed, but, it's still, but yet it's still so good looking. I'm with you there. I'm with you there. I think some for the Corys and the Plecos. Now those Corys are a rare kind. That's yeah. The precarious. And that's that's the first time I'd seen these in person yeah, too. They're cool. I might get myself in trouble with the wife with these guys. <laughs> I might just have to buy them. They are definitely nice. Cincinnati people who will, people like the Bengals, I should say, like <laughs> yeah. the colors yeah. on. And black and orange. Give me a second to drop it in there, guys. Nice fish, come on, man. Look alive. Guys, I have to this, so that's pointless. So, oh, well, the rainbows didn't let a single bit of that drop. No. It's a good looking crib in there too. Yeah, I know. I thought that was a male, but it's got a really pink belly starting to come yeah. in. I mean, someone's been nipping the heck out of him. Uh, I'm guessing probably the clownfish, but someone's nipping him too, so yeah. I'm not really sure. I don't think it's those rainbows. Those L81s are sharp too. Which ones? The L81 yes. gold nuggets. Stardust. That's the first time I've had the 18 and the Ariris, I think the 177s, but that's the first time I've had the 81s. I think the small dots look really sharp. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he's going to come out. I see his big fat head over there. You see that big Bashir in there? Oh, nice. Uh, I'll probably just make him come out. Yeah, I didn't see him when I went through the first time yet. He's not going to like this, but okay. And there's two rope fish that he allows to hang out with him, and there they go. Come on, big boy. Come on, I know. <laughs> I'm literally pushing him, and he does not want to have anything to do with it. Come on, just be seen, buddy. There you go. <laughs> He's good looking. He's like, I prefer the private life. Yeah. All right, Rufus, don't jump out. Yeah, he's like, I turn the lights out for That's the guys. biggest one of those I've seen in a store, too. That's about halfway grown. Yeah. And the rope fish, they did another seven, eight inches. Typically, you see one of those in a store, they're oh, still about three inches. Yeah. yeah. That's the calmest Paulus. I want to say he gets up to 18 inches. Solid, uh, maybe not as thick as your wrist, but, uh, but close. Yeah. A solid. Which guy is this here? That's just a brown bushy nose. Oh, really? A common. He's pretty spotty for I a... know, they do have a lot of spots yeah. on them. It's not the same thing. I've had like so many of them and they just rebreed and then just, just as many brown kind of spottiness to them. It's, it's unusual, I admit, but... Yeah. Now these these blue striped guys here. Yes, this is a Tritocephalus. Okay, because when I saw him, I thought it was a, a small, like a like a, a baby front or something. Bit. They call them baby fronts or mini yeah. frontoses. Much meaner though. Oh, really? Much meaner. They only get to about six inches, so. These guys are sharp enough oh, to, to get me into Africans. The even better part is males <laughs> and females look exactly the same. Nice. Yeah. No way you can really tell is when they start pairing off the breed. And mm -hmm. You could vent them, but that's semi not reliable sometimes. Yeah. I'm not good at venting anything. Yeah, when they're bigger. You know, if they were like hand size, yeah, you could pretty easily vent them. But mm -hmm. look at that size, nuts. Possible. Right. People ask me that all the time. Can you vent them? Mm -hmm. Maybe if we had like a high-powered telescope or a magnifying <laughs> glass. 
This guy's pretty cool too. That's nothing. Those are actually uh, what do you call them the blackface uh, Enantiopus. They are a killer. Uh, hey Adam, can you turn that water off? Thanks. Uh, when they get bigger, they're amazing. Um, yeah. Pretty peaceful fish. You know, they don't cause a lot of drama per se. Uh, they're sand sifter. Kind of go around and do their little sand sifting thing. So really not that bad. And although these things breed like rabbits, this is the albino version of the Grishardi. Oh, really? Um, you know, much more rare than the common ones, mm. but yeah, they breed like crazy. That's one of the few that I recognized in here. <laughs> yeah, they can easily breed. I mean, yeah. no problems. We're kind of short on other Tanganyikans right now. I usually have more, but mm -hmm. right now I think this might be. Oh, yeah, there's a few down there. But. Now, are all these guys Tanganyikan species? or? Yes. Awesome. Yes, everything in there is Tang. Six. Even the catfish are tangs, which are probably hiding up underneath the rocks, I had to guess. Yep. And here there's a lot of cool plecos. I don't know if you can see these guys or not, maybe. Underneath this rock here, there's the gold stripe royal. Yeah, I saw him right there. Um, he is sharp. No, he's being I nerded good. out over him a little bit. And then did you see... Uh, where is he at? There's an ice cream phantom in there somewhere. Oh, I, uh, I saw he was okay. on the wood earlier. Right, he's probably all back there chowing down. Yeah. That's where the royal's at, I'm pretty sure. The blue eye, that's his spot. He sits yeah. right back there in the back, and he got stopped right here. Oh, yep. Is he coming out? Uh, he looks like he's just sitting right on top of the back of the wood back there. Now, this guy right here is a very rare, in the pot there, very rare West African uh, cichlid. Mm -hmm. He's... Uh, Show you. He's got a female back here holding a big fat mouth. There he is. They're both trying to stay out of the limelight here. Here he comes. Nothing flashy, but they're pretty rare. I don't think she's going to come out. She's back in the leaves there. Uh, yeah, she's not interested in coming out. But yeah, I thought that was really amazing. I was glad since they're the only two mouth brooders in there. I know they're pure, so. Yeah. That's not awesome. something you see very often, so. Obviously, they're easy to breed because I'm like nothing special. <laughs> yeah. thing. Just keeping them, right? Exactly. Just keeping them in there. So, yeah. If anything else cool we might have missed, it's hiding. Wow. Also, that guy down there is lit up for his species. That is like amazingly bright right now. The white yeah. top afros, and he is like almost yeah. completely white. Usually, that kind of baby blue, but he's almost white. So, someone's trying to breed. Yeah, We're fighting over who's gonna be the top dog, one or the other. Yeah, you see the orange spotted eel. I did, yeah. Okay, he was actually, oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, he's wow. kind of out. This is head. Sometimes he comes out and swims around, not as often as I'd like, but yeah, he's a nocturnal kind of predatory animal, so. I don't expect him to be out all the time. This red spot looks really good. Too. Yes, those guys are still smallish. Yeah. And some of them, two or three of them have really good red and orange coming in. Mm -hmm. There's five of them in there, right? Oh no, I sold them. Never mind. That's right. All right. Well, we're actually going to be closing up here soon. So much as I hate to throw you out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if there's anything you need, though, I can get you that for yeah. you. I'm, yeah. I'm torn right now whether I want to buy the, the Corys or those Tiger Autos, man. Yeah, so you know how rare these are then. Yeah. Alright, that's good. I've never seen these in person either before. They get much bigger than the normal autos. Yeah, I know. Like even even already. Yeah. Are they schoolers like the autos or yeah, not so much. They kinda do their own thing. There should be four of them in there. One, two, in that case three. I may just take one of them. Uh, there should be a fourth one in there somewhere. There you go. Ooh. Oh, are you a pistos gonna breed back there? God, that'd be great. This is the Epistogramma tefes, another relatively rare of the Epistos. If they were breeding, that'd be great. And we got one, two, three. And there's a fourth one in there somewhere. It's probably right. back of the sponge or something. Yeah, I think I'll take one of these. One of these guys? Yeah.
these guys are voracious eaters. So if you don't have a good mm -hmm. amount of algae in the tank, throw them some wafers. Okay. They go for like the green beans and stuff like yeah, a person knows what. Yeah, eat all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. They would be with that kind of stuff. They'd probably even say thank you. Yeah. yeah. They're just getting algae off the glass and wafers. And they're probably like, ugh, I'm getting tired of eating the same crap. Like the other autos, be careful when you're getting them out because they can kind of get stuck in the, uh, the net sometimes. Mm -hmm. Little spikes on their noses. So how long you guys been in business now? It's been about two years? We have been here at this location for two years. We were actually selling out of the house before this. Oh, nice. Probably, oh, I don't know, five years before that. Mm -hmm. Made it official though, moved in here a couple years ago. Hoping to move into a bigger place in a few years from this, so we shall see. Sweet. All right. That'd be awesome. It is 2140. All right. So you guys do the, the full quarantining and all that too, right? Yes. Everything's yeah. quarantined at the house before it comes here. Awesome. Um, Sam, I am. kind of feel like, well, I wouldn't want unhealthy fish in my tanks. Why would you want them in yours? Right. right? So make sure everything's good and healthy before it comes up here. Yeah. And that, that's awesome because most stores don't do that. I know. I was yeah. a buyer before I was a seller, so yeah. I definitely know. I definitely know how it is. And you'd think that, you know, you'd want to have good healthy fish. People are going to come back to buy healthy fish. Right. Oh. So getting used to this thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we quarantine everything. It's usually at the house for a minimum of two weeks. Uh, sometimes it's there as long as three months. Just depends if we have space. Like, kind of fit a tank out down there, fit a tank out down there. So, mm. you know, we bring some more stuff up on Thursday. Awesome. Thursday's basically our bring stuff up day, if mm. I can. Um, but yeah. Awesome. So, guys, this is Dave. He is the owner here at Top Shelf Aquatics. Hello, all. Great guy, he's been really helpful showing me around the place, as you can tell. And he's got an awesome shop, as you can tell. All kinds of harder to find stuff. It seems like you guys are a little more geared towards the enthusiasts rather than the just getting your yeah, toes wet yeah. kind of I a... mean, we have some common stuff, like the cherry barbs and, you know, various tetras and things like that. But we definitely have the more rare stuff. Yeah. We try to live up to the exotic word on the sign out there. So, right. Yeah. Like I said, this guy you've never even seen before. Exactly. Um, this is actually the first time I'd seen these, so I had to grab some. Yeah. Because I'm kind of just like the enthusiast. Is like, yeah. oh, I, I've seen them on YouTube, like. but I've never seen yeah, them in yeah. person. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm like, ooh, look at that. When I yeah. see things come up, some things are like ridiculously expensive. I'd love to get more zebra plecos in here. Yeah. I've had them before, uh, but I got lucky and bought them when they're only like an inch and mm. then grew them out and sold them. But mm, nowadays they're getting really, really yeah. expensive. Ooh. I saw. Them. Sometime last year, it looked like you had some leopard frog plecos too. Yes, that was those the one awesome. only time I'd ever had those. Um, we actually had a guy drive from Chicago to pick those up. Oh, so, wow. Obviously, they're not easy to come by. Yeah, not at all. We've also had the Queen Arabesque. Uh, the, is it striped or spotted? There's a striped Arabesque or a, a, a spotted, one or the other. We've had those, but. We do get a ton of fancy plecos in. Um, mm -hmm. We do actually get a lot of the Bashirs, like the Polys, mm -hmm. but they sell like so fast, they're usually not even here. Like that guy's been here for like a week at the store. I think if people, you missed him. Yeah. I think if people actually see that he was in there, he'd probably already be gone, because yeah. it's only 50 bucks, and you saw he was, you know, every bit of this. Yeah. Two sides. Yep. All right, well, hey, thanks a lot, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You have a good one. Thanks and for stopping And I will by. definitely see you again. Ooh. All right, man. Have <laughs> All a right. good one. Thanks. All right, guys, I am back at the house now, and I've got my Tiger Auto floating, getting him up to temperature. And just check out how awesome this fish is, guys. Look how cool he is. I wanted to buy all of them that he had. I just couldn't justify in my budget right now spending as much money on fish today as I actually wanted to. So maybe I'll get more in the future if, if he's got them next time I go. I really wanted to get those Corydoras also. Those were really sharp. And 
I was tempted by that gold nugget at Pleco too. All oh, really shark fish. He just had so many, so many really cool, hard to find fish as far as what you typically see at a local fish store. I thought it was awesome. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite fish was that you saw in this video. So the fish that you thought was the coolest or thought was the most interesting to see or you were most surprised to see, let me know in the comments below which fish that was for you. For me, it was either that mango pleco or this the tiger autos. I was really surprised to see these tiger autos. Or the uh, that vampire pleco, the, the spotted one, that was sharp. I really liked that fish. He was really cool. Um, so I don't know which one I would pick. But I am highly, highly impressed with Top Shelf Aquatics. I think they're top notch. Uh, I think their business practices are good. I really appreciate the fact that he quarantines everything at home before he brings it to the shop. I think that's awesome. I think every fish store should do that. And this is one of my new all-time favorite fish stores. Excellent store run by an excellent guy with an excellent selection of really cool fish. I'm, I'm still just really stoked from having hung out there and seen those fish. I wish I could have bought all the fish that I wanted to buy. But, you know, you can't always buy all the fish you want to buy. So you're always getting new fish. If you bought them all now, you wouldn't have any to buy later. But, just goes to show, you can easily go broke buying fish. At least I could. But, I also want to show you guys something. And you may have already noticed, if you were paying attention. But, I am wearing the Fish Nerd t-shirt. Boom. It's not long sleeve. I'm wearing a long sleeve undershirt underneath. Just because that's my thing. I do that. But, this is the orange, and I really like this color. When I was looking online, I knew I liked it, but having it in person, I really like this color even more. But we've also got, uh, the lighting's weird in here, but this is the gold, which is kind of an orangey yellow. And the color doesn't show up as good in the video as it looks in person, just because my lighting's weird. But that's the gold. And here we've got the green. And this green looks nothing like what it looks like in the video. So I don't know what's going on here. Because this is actually more of like a matte olive green. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these outside so you can see them in real light. <laughs> take that fluorescent bulbs all right here we go you guys like my yellow truck I love my yellow truck all right here's the green I'm gonna say it's kind of a matte lime green this and the orange might be my two favorites but I also really like this yellow yeah you can tell a lot better out here this color yellow. Somebody's car alarm's going off. It's kind of like a, kind of a mustardy color. Really sharp. Like it. And then we've got your, they call it steel gray. It's kind of a standard heather in my opinion, but still looks really sharp with the logo, I think. So that's what we got for the t-shirts. And so I do want to say Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, if you enjoyed the store tour, I do appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. It's not just a vanity thing. It actually does help. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that little icon down in the corner of the video. I don't know if I pointed the right direction. Whichever corner has the fish nerd icon down there click on that to subscribe so you can see all my future videos and hit that little bell uh, to be notified whenever new videos come out or if I ever go live or anything like that 
that really, really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so, so much. Uh, I really appreciate all the support, all the comments, and just you guys are awesome. So God bless you fish nerds. I will see you next time.